episode 117 of Flick, James Flick, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent. Today, I will be reviewing DreamWorks Animation's second ever film, The Prince of Egypt, which came out on December 18th, 1998, is directed by Brenda Chapman, Steve Hickner, and Simon Wells, and stars Val Kilmer, Ralph Fiennes, Sandra Bullock, and Jeff Goldblum. So we start off this movie with a baby Moses, our titular character, floating off in a river. I guess it is so that he can hide away with another family, am I right? So Moses has grown up, and just so that you know, he is played by Val Kilmer, is horse racing with his adoptive brother, Ramses II. Right now the other, Prince of Egypt, played by Ralph Fiennes. That's interesting, I would say. Oh dear, Moses is facing an identity crisis, after he was just told by his biological family that he is not really a Prince of Egypt. That must be hard for him to accept, I bet. Moses is now showing off his true identity as a Hebrew, and is now in the desert in exile, as he finds out for himself about his biological family. He is now a shepherd out in the desert. At least he is learning to accept his life as it is, and to try to make the best of it. Moses has now come across a burning bush, where he is told by God to lead the Hebrews like himself to freedom. He has now reunited with Ramses, who is now Ramses II, Pharaoh of Egypt. I guess he is finally understanding the real situation. Playing with the big boys is right now playing in the background. I like how even DreamWorks Animation can come up with musical numbers just like Disney. He is meeting up with his biological siblings, Miriam and Aaron, for the first time. Just so that you know, Miriam is played by Sandra Bullock, and Aaron is played by Jeff Goldblum. Moses is now conversing with his people about letting them go. I guess that must also be a part of the book of Exodus. Could I be right? Let my people go. I know that phrase very well because I have read a lot about biblical history before. The Hebrews, led by Moses, are now fleeing Egypt. I guess they are now going to be able to seek better lives. Oh, that famous parting of the Red Sea. Moses did that with his staff so that he could lead his people through it. The Red Sea is now put back together again after Moses successfully led his people through to the other side of it. Moses is now saying goodbye to Ramses II, as this movie draws to a close, and now Moses and his people can thrive freely at last. Overall, The Prince of Egypt is a well-told animated take on a classic biblical story, which is the Book of Exodus. Join me next time when I review The Little Mermaid. I'm Flick James Flick, your one and only movie reviewing secret agent out there. Thank <laughs> you.